Bonjour to my class. Bonjour, Chef. How y'all doing this morning? Great. Uh, we're gonna, it is 11.30, but we're going to give a couple more minutes to sign on. This is Cooking and Learning Care segment with Chef Destiny and... Chef Aja. And it is a pleasure. It is our Valentine's Day continuation of our program. And we're glad to be here with you. There's a couple more people joining. All right. Well, Aja, if you want to go ahead and get started. Did y'all uh, love the uh, Valentine's Day program? Yes, it was wonderful. The program was wonderful. Okay, everybody else muted. Okay. All right, go ahead, Aja. All right, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great today. Um, Okay, can, can she hear me? Yes, we can hear you great. All right. In honor of Black History Month still, I want to talk about a chef really quick named Erica Council. She's out of Atlanta, Georgia. She makes um, baked healthy treats with like a little spin, a little twist. Her website is southernsouffle.com. If you would like to order from her or just look at what she does, she's known for her brown butter cornbread, summer peach upside down cake, her grapefruit sugar pound cake. So that's Erica Council, Black Woman Chef out of Atlanta, Georgia. All right, today I'm going to be showing you different ways to make a um, decorated candied strawberry, if you will. Um, a lot of, you may or may not have seen, a lot of people sell infused strawberries and chocolate covered strawberries, white chocolate covered strawberries. So I'm gonna give you some other different ways in which you can make your own strawberries. And they're really cute gift ideas for like people you love, grandkids, et cetera. So let's get into it. All righty. Can everybody see the setup? Yes. Okay. And just make sure it's secure. All right. First, you would like to start off with some really good strawberries. I got these from Ingles, and they're nice and big, as y'all can see. And they're very sweet. You, of course, want to clean your fruit. And when you're doing this, get creative. Think about any toppings that you want. You want something to be able to hold the weight of the strawberries and the toppings. So you would just insert the, this is like a, um, it's shish kebab stick. So you would insert mm -hmm. that into the strawberry. Now the first topping that I'm doing is like a plate on strawberry cheesecake, okay? In this bowl, I just took some room temperature cream cheese, some sugar, a little bit of half and half to thin it out. And this is kind of like cheesecake, if you will, okay? I also have some crushed up graham crackers to kind of represent. Uh, whose phone is that? Uh, hello, whose phone is that? All right. Cream cheese, sugar, and what? Okay, you want me to keep going, Chef? Yes, please. Sorry for the interruption. Please keep your phone on mute if you got background noise. Thank All you. Right. So go over the cream cheese. I have some crushed graham crackers to kind of like represent. Um, you know, the graham cracker crust of a cheesecake. So you would just take, now first you need a tray to put your um, strawberries on. I would spray it with some vegetable oil so it doesn't stick, okay? So you would just take your strawberries and you have fun with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just roll the strawberry around in the cream cheese dip. And then you just take the graham cracker crust you try to coat it as much as possible. 
shake off the excess and put it on your tray. And we're gonna put all of these into the freezer. Okay, so that's one way you can do your um, strawberry, all right? So move this out the way. Another way you can decorate your strawberry and give it a different flavor is, you know, the um, strawberry wafer cookies. I just bought some. I crushed them out. I like the pink color. I'm still going to use that same cheesecake. You can, or you can use that, excuse me, you can use that same cheesecake um, batter that I showed you, or you can just get some simple vanilla icing. Dip like the tip of it so that the cookies can stay on and you can decorate it however you want if you want to cover all of it you can do that and just put the cookies around it until it sticks and then you're going to set that on your tray as well so that's the second way that you can do your strawberries all right move that out the way all right, now I just have some simple caramel sauce and you may be saying, hmm, strawberries and caramel, that doesn't seem like it goes or maybe you are saying that it goes, but it's really delicious combination. I have this sea salt caramel. So it has like a salty sweet combo that matches really well with the strawberry. So this one would be simple. You would just twirl your strawberry in that trying to get a nice good caramel coat. And then you will put that on your tray as well to go into the freezer. And last but certainly not least with the toppings, I just have some crushed up cereal cinnamon toast crunch. I like this cereal. It's one of my favorite cereals. And you just take the strawberry. I'm gonna use some of the caramel sauce too. But you can use whatever you want to use. And I'm just doing the tip just like the strawberry wafer cookie. And I'm just going to sprinkle mm. all around the tip. So you have like this sweet, salty, caramel, cinnamony crunch. All right. And we're just going to put that onto the tray as well. Now I'm going to show you how this looks when it's all frozen and finished. And I'm going to show you a cute way to package it if you want to give it as a gift idea or just as a cute little packaging. Get this out my way. Hello. Here I have them out of the freezer. And I have some little, I have a, a container that has a lid. It has hearts in it. It's plastic. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Okay, it has little cute hearts. And I have some cupcake holders, okay? They're pink. And we're gonna start with, this is our cheesecake graham cracker strawberry. And you just place mm. it in the little cupcake holder and put it inside of your box, okay? So I'm just gonna do all of them like that. This is the cinnamon toast crunch one with a little caramel. And this is a cute little DIY um, Valentine's Day gift that you can give to your loved ones and your friends. This is the caramel one. It doesn't look like much, but it has that sea salt caramel drizzle all over it. And lastly, this is the strawberry wafer with the vanilla icing on. And you just put it into your container, if y'all can see. Just put a lid on it. And this is a cute Valentine's Day gift. Are there any questions about this? Yes, how long do you leave it in the refrigerator? I put it in the freezer for, I would say, minimum 30 minutes, max hour, hour and a half. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Thank you, Arja. Oh, you're welcome. That's all I have today, Chef. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Brenton and Shawanda, y'all ready for hot tips and hot hacks? Yes, we are. All right, I'm going to go ahead, Shawanda, sir. Morning, everybody. Hope Morning. everybody's staying dry. These are my food tips and hacks. 
When boiling potatoes, I always start them in cold water. Thus, when the middle is cooked, the outside will not fall apart. Mm. Vegetables that grow above ground, such as corn, peas, and greens, place in boiling water. Vegetables that grow underground, such as beets, carrots, and potatoes, start off in cold water. Dip Pioneer in warm salt water before adding it to gravy. It softens the Pioneer and allows absorbing the gravy easily. And my food hack is poke the end of your mixer beater through the middle of a paper plate before attaching them to your mixer to add as a shield. Mm. All right, thank you. thank you. All right, Brent, let me spotlight you. Appreciate the read. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Go ahead. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy Thursday. Good morning to you all. Good morning. All right. These are my uh, cooking tips. Uh, as far as cooking, it's always important that you set your cooking space to your liking. Uh, if you like to listen to music while you cook, make sure you do that. And always dress comfortable. Uh, my second tip is to shut the stove off before eggs are done. That will avoid your eggs, uh, whether, they're scrambled, whether they're scrambled eggs or your poached egg, it would prevent your egg from getting burnt. And the uh, third tip, is to always keep a few essentials on hand, your salt and pepper, your uh, your seasonings, and your knife as well. Okay, the uh, cooking hat, instead of wasting precious fruit by hacking into the stem with the knife, gently press the bottom together and peel the banana from the bottom up. Mm. Okay, that's all I have, Chef. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. When I poach eggs in the water and I crack it and, and um, easily put it into the water, how do I keep it from um, a lot of the white from spreading out? Now, I have my poached eggs do look good in this, you know, around the center, but how do you keep it all together? Or is it supposed to get like that? Uh, a lot of times it's the uh, the temperature that you have the stove on. Oh, as well. okay. So a okay, lot of Brent. <laughs> a lot of times you want to keep it down if, if you want to kind of shape your egg the way you want to shape okay. it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you all enjoyed that. Yes. Okay. So, y'all like my little love sign? Yes. I'm to go all out today. I like you do I'm too. Cupid. I'm Cupid today. <laughs> so, want to go over a little black history facts first, of course. Thank you, Aja, for yours. We salute African Americans who made it continue and make American history. So for today, February 11, in 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from prison. Mm. And that is for leading the fight against apartheid, a system of racial segregation that privileged whites. Mandela was sentenced to life in prison in 1962. He was arrested and convicted of conspiracy to overthrow the state. <clears throat> He served 27 years before being released on this day thanks to an international campaign. So, yes. So, yeah. And uh, February, you know, National Days in February. So, today, February 11th, it is National Don't Cry Over Spill Milk Day. I like that one. National Inventors Day. National Make a Friend Day, National Peppermint Patty Day, National Shut-In Visitation Day, 
National White Shirt Day, and National Give Hearts Day. So here I'm, I got a heart. I'm going to give my heart to y'all. Thank you. So I did one of the national days. It's y'all turn. Okay, so what I'm going to be making for y'all today is a, y'all heard of charcuterie boards. Did I say that right, Kim? Oh, I thought she I've never heard of that. You know the, the boards they put like crackers and cheese yes, and fruit. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Kim. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Okay. Board. And on our charcuterie board is going to be instead of cheese and crackers, because today is, of course, celebrating our Valentine's Day program, we are going to be making chocolate edible bowl Sundays. So I have my chocolate melted here. And to get it creamy like that, I just did it over the stove, over a double boiler, and I added vegetable oil to it. So that's what makes it creamy. Now, for this, you will need your balloons. So I wrote, I blow up some balloons. Hold on. <laughs> Got my balloons, and I didn't want to make them big because I'm my board is not that big. So I'll show you our board. Now, when you are attempting to make these chocolate bowls, you have to let this uh, chocolate cool off, or this uh, balloon will explode in your face. So let the chocolate cool off for a minute which is what I'm doing. This is the board we're using for our chocolate charcuterie board. And I'm gonna put that heart on there just for decoration. I think we about cool off. I pray, Lord, because I don't want this chocolate exploding all over me. So, now you will get your sheet pan with some parchment paper or foil. Make sure you um, grease the paper or the foil. So let me get some. Um, I'm just going to put a dab of vegetable oil on here, and I'm going to put a little on my balloon. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip and twirl. You want to get it down in there good. You're going to dip. I think I'm going to try to dip three times because you want the bowl to be thick. Somebody mute themselves. Okay, so y'all see how that's looking? Yes. And the more you dip it, the more layers it has, the stronger it will be. And all you're going to do is Place this in your freezer. It's only gonna take about five minutes to freeze. And if you wanted to, you could dip a little of the chocolate out and put you a base down first and then put it on there. We're gonna put this guy in the freezer. And all you would do is take your knife and pop it. Now, I also have a squeeze bottle here. Put you some chocolate in, make a design. I'm going to show you a couple, before we assemble, a couple other little tricks you can do with chocolate and for decoration. So right here in this foil, and you can use foil or parchment paper, I have some sprinkles here. And I just spread them out, fold the other side over. 
And yes, this is an iron. So we're going to let that iron stay on them sprinkles. About three to five minutes. I'm going to check on it. Not quite. But once you get done, we're going to let that one cook. Once you get done, you should have something that looks like this. Mm -hmm. I like that. And this is just uh, sprinkles that I heated up. Well, that we ironed them. We'll check again, almost. Now also, we have, I'm gonna put some more chocolate in our bottle here. Kim gave me these nice, lovely molds. You can make you some nice chocolate or candy almost. So what you wanna do is grease up the, whatever you wanna make chocolate, we'll do. We'll do some lips and uh, and the heart. So I'm gonna pour some of our melted chocolate into our squeeze bottle. We're saving the rest because we need it. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up those two and we'll freeze it. That was enough for the heart. So we'll just stick with the heart right now. We'll freeze that. Check on the heart. Almost. But y'all saw what it looked like, so. All right. So some other little tricks you can do with the chocolate. And I used uh, the squeeze bottle to do it. I just made some little uh, design, took this and made, and you can just peel it off and add it to your chocolate. Also another trick is with a straw. I filled it up with chocolate and you can just cut it right down, open it up. Or uh, you could do use some other chocolate. Now here's our chocolate that I did earlier that I told you was like the candy that came out of that mold. So here is our chocolate bowl. This is what you want, you want it to look like. You just pop it and peel the balloon out of there. I'm going to go ahead and plate up our charcuterie board. Okay, we got some ice cream. I got some of the caramel ice cream. Also have some of uh, the ice cream we made yesterday, the avocado ice cream. We had turned out, got our chunks in there.
I got these cute little bows. Also, you can make you, I've got some little candies. And this will be cute for you and your Valentine. And you can do it however you like. I did uh, a shortcake and marshmallow kebab. Let me put that right in the back. Um, you could also do uh, just plain shortcake. I'm going to show you something else with some of that leftover cereal. So we're going to put our candy heart and put our sprinkle. Here I have some marshmallows on a stick. Chocolate chips. It's really whatever you want to do. So these are cake pop sticks I got. That's why they're so short. I got the chocolate right here. Dip it in there. Dip it in our cereal. Also did a little heart cookie. Like I said, it's whatever you want to do. I just took a sugar cookie, shaped it into a heart. And we'll take a little bit of our chocolate. Also have some more sprinkles you could just add on. Some raspberry sauce if you want. All right, and there you have it. A Valentine chocolate. Ice cream sundae dessert charcuterie board. Oh, beautiful. Everybody can see that? Yes. Like I said, it's, it's just good. like art. And it's whatever design you want to do. A chocolate ball is right here. I have a cute little black dish. This is what my little black dishes look like. That our chocolate edible bowl is on. You pretty much can make anything out of chocolate. I'm going to put this in the freezer. I have to take some pictures of it later. So our dessert portion is over. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, from me and Aja, just some simple things you can do for your Valentine's love or for yourself. Thank you, Miss Terrell, for this mat. The silicone mat is wonderful. All right, now on to business. So I wanted to show y'all a couple videos. And well, first I'll tell y'all the 10 most popular Valentine's Day recipes. And they are steak with peppercorn sauce, um, easy cocktails, chocolate covered strawberries, chocolate cheesecake, or oh, strawberry cheesecake, 
um, spaghetti carbonara, uh, and beef wellington, and some vegetarian recipes. I'm gonna share my screen. First, we're gonna. Uh, have anybody ever heard of love bugs? No. Well, I stayed in Florida. They say they have some here. I haven't seen them, but when I stayed in Florida, they they are in the ground and then they come up and they there's be stuck on each other, so to speak, behind stuck together and that's how they fly around and they are kind of a nuisance because a lot of them they go in big swarms so I'm just show y'all a small clip of the love bug and then we're going to do a crossword puzzle yeah. everywhere I look around Love is in the air, every sight and every sound. Love bugs are not the consequence of genetic engineering. Uh, they are a normal species, and, but they are an introduced species, right? So before human activities, or at least European human activities, they weren't in the U.S., uh, but at some point they, they were moved to the U.S., and now they are here. And they were first described as a species in eastern Texas in 1940. And then since then, they've been moving um, east, and they were all throughout Florida by the 1970s. So most people notice love bugs as an adult stage. And so in spring, May and April, and then fall, August and September, the adults come out and they mate. So that's See how they're uh, when stuck they're out to mating, each other. That's when we see them. But the whole rest of the year, they're still there, but they live in the soil. So the, the juveniles, the larvae, live in the grass yes. and in leaf litter and decompose organic matter. Um, so they're there all year, but they emerge in big groups to mate only in the spring and in the fall. So in that way, they kind of mark the changes of the season. As far as the non-native species go, they're really not causing much problems other than people sometimes find them annoying. But otherwise, they are actually serving some ecological functions. And there's two main functions they can serve. One is decomposition. So they live in the ground eating vegetative matter. So basically, that means they're taking dead leaves and plant matter and converting it over time into soil, which is a very important ecological process. And the other thing they do as adults is they also pollinate. Because as adults, they're flying around and they feed on pollen and nectar. So in the process, they pollinate some plants as well. All right. That's all I wanted to show y'all. I didn't know if a lot of people knew about the love bug. I was surprised when, uh, oh, who in Texas, they will crash into your car while it's moving and cover it. They are a new, yes. <laughs> I was just gonna get into that because when I was living in Florida, like they are all over the place. All over your car, they can clog up your exhaust pipes and everything. Mm -hmm. But they are called the love bug and I always see them making and connected to each other like that. And it's weird because if you actually outside, you can see them when they come up from the ground and then when they go back down into the ground. It's a weird process. Mm. Okay, now we're gonna do a Valentine's Day crossword puzzle. Everybody can see? Yes. All right. Okay, so which square do you want to select? I'll just select one. Okay, we celebrate Valentine's Day on February 14th. Okay. Oh, I didn't spell that right. Nope. <laughs> T. T. E. T. 
That ain't oh. right neither. Y'all supposed to be shouting out the answer. T H H H N E E N the next letter. Put the T out of the H. Do you spell it or they use it? No, that ain't right. No. Yes, it is. Put it in there. Yeah, that's wrong. Oh, that's a 14. F O R T H. F O R T H. E E. Oh, that that's e what I had. E no, you got U. F. Oh, sorry. <laughs> R T H F O U R T H or T E fourteen. Oh, is it fourth? What is it? To the E there. To T. Yeah. F O R F O U R. No, I know what it is. F O U T E E N. F O U R T E E N. F O U R. Four. But it gotta be fourteen. Th gotta be in there. Fourth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> a sweet treat in a heart shaped box. Sweet treat. And heart shape. Chocolate. 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 Okay, we're going to try it. We know how to spell chocolate, don't we? Not, <laughs> really. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, e. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for another one. Another word for gift. Present. Present. Okay. E e S e e N T. Y'all uh, me up with the e e N T. E e N T. E e N T. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So would you be my Valentine? Valentine. Okay. A e L. -E -L -E -L. Oh. Lord. Uh -uh. Yep. Yeah. Me up. N T I N E. Uh -huh. All right. Let's go with our next one. We celebrate this holiday. February. On... February. Ooh, who know how to spell it? L -B 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 -R -U -A -R -Y. B R U A R Y. A R Y. Uh, right. Okay. People sometimes buy roses in this amount. Dozen. Dozen. A B C A N. Correct. We send these to our Valentine. Cards. Cards. I don't see no H. Right. Is it cards? Oh, cards. A R D S. All right. <laughs> For the hard work, we know where it is. I think you have a blank admirer. Secret. Secret. <laughs> R E T. T. All right. Okay. He blanked her on the cheek. Kissed. One more. What? Kiss. S S, S E D. E D. All right. A popular color for Valentine's Day. Red. Red. All right. <laughs> All right. Good job, everybody. Perfect score. <laughs> little bit say you did good. You did. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see a little bit. That was funny. Yes. <laughs> hey, I thought I heard it's you. Hey. I heard you spelling. Good job. Yes, ma'am. I'm in class, freak. 
where you supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> he think this is her class, first of all. Yeah, yeah. yeah do y'all y'all classmate is calling me on the phone? I'm busting you out. <laughs> Did you get the new password I sent you? Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. I did, and I and I and I did it, and it didn't work. You did the le the number one in all caps M O gravy with an exclamation right. point and an exclamation point, and then on mine, what you sent me was an exclamation point period, and then a period. No, no, no period. No. It's not a period. It's a period after, and that's what I did. But I even did it without the period, and it didn't come through. Well, I, I don't know, ma'am. Are you using the letter O rather than the zero? She said, are you using the letter O and not zero, correct? No, right. I didn't use the O. You, I use the, you use, I use the number one, all capitals, M-O-G-R-A-D-Y-S, exclamation point. Well, it should right. work. Try That's it right. one more time because my ID number hasn't changed. Okay, so. I even checked that. And I didn't get anything. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so now I wanted to show y'all there is a chocolatier <laughs> chef that I watch. He carves amazing chocolate. But we're going to just show y'all a small video of that before we get out of here. Destiny. Yes, ma'am. She calls back. Tell her she may have to reinstall her Doom client because I couldn't get in it either until after I reinstalled Zoom client. Oh, okay. It didn't work on my tablet. All right, so here we go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Something else is still playing. Oh, here she goes. She in here now. Okay. What in the world is going on? <laughs> we don't like you. What happened? And I we don't like you. We tried to block you, but we couldn't do it. That's what you did. You were on the yeah. other end. Yes. I, I didn't do I'm it, Miss Peggy. <laughs> yes, I didn't did. do it. Yes, you did. I promise I, I didn't. That is horrible. <laughs> I did, look, look, we was at late last night changing these passwords. That's and I right. messaged all of y'all. That I had numbers for. I and, and I did it. Spread the word. Okay, and I did it. And then behind mine on my on my phone, it has the uh, exclamation point, then a period. Well, I'm so sorry. I stopped the you. period was in there, but uh, it's not a okay. period. Just take the okay, period. Okay, but out. I even did it without the period. I cannot believe that. Happened. Well, you just got in here, so something was right. No, Lord, we have. We oh, tried our best to keep you out. I know it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus have mercy. Oh, the class is still going on. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everybody. This is made out of chocolate. How long did he go to school? <laughs> well, actually, when I um, worked at Universal Studios, they had a whole department um, where people did stuff like this. I seen um, a chef make a giant grandfather clock. It's pretty amazing. You have to be in um, the correct temperature rooms to do this. 
because you know how chocolate, it will melt. So everything has to be tempered correctly and you have to be in a cool environment. And see, there's the grandfather clock. Y'all yes, can go back and watch it on your own. So the last thing I'm gonna leave y'all with is a culinary Valentine's joke. What did the chef give to his wife on Valentine's Day? Candy. Candy. A hug Rose. and a kiss. A what? A hug, a hug and a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Destiny, uh, what's the name of the website you be getting the games from? Um, It's all different ones. I just Google it. Okay. Yeah, I get them all Thank off you. of Google and some Thank off you. of YouTube, too. Okay. Um, We'll Thank do you. one more. What did the blueberry say to the other on Valentine's Day? You my boo? I love you very much. Oh, and I love y'all very much. Very and, much. <laughs> and the final quote for the day is when you truly love yourself, you don't have to depend on anyone else to do it for you. So it starts awesome. here before you can give it out there. So we'll all give ourselves the, the love hug today. Miss Peck, right. stop looking so mean. You, you on here. We still love you. I know, but I feel so bad that I was so crazy. I don't know what happened. And anyway, okay. happy That's Valentine's Day, us. everybody. Hey, I want to um, give questions. you kudos. <laughs> I want to give you kudos on the um, avocado banana ice cream. I made it this morning. It oh, is good. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. I hope you took a picture. I did, and I I'm going to be it. eating on mine, too. So thank y'all so much. I hope y'all enjoyed the whole activities for today. Thank you, Aja. Thank you, Brenton. Thank you, Shawanda. And we will see y'all on tomorrow. Spread that love. Starts with here. Thank you. Happy Valentine. Thank you. Happy, Happy Valentine. Valentine. Bye. Bye, everybody. Y'all look beautiful, Bye. too. Bye. Have a beautiful day. You, too. Thank you. <laughs>